my screen is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So you may be wondering why you are reading a lot of Siddly, tax Siddly. So the main motivation behind uh, uh, the tax Siddling, so why you are reading tax Siddling is actually uh, after mid semester. So most of the times we will cover uh, cloud computing, IoT, edge computing and pop computing. And in that, so we will use most of the concepts of the Siddling, means uh, whatever you are uh, reading here means in sibling concept will use there. So that is the main uh, motivation behind uh, going through the all sibling theoretical aspects of sibling very very carefully. Okay, so that is the only an means uh, an important uh, motivation behind uh, reading the sibling. Okay, so many people may be may be thinking that. Uh, uh, that looks like a theoretical course uh, instead of actually a regular HPC course. It's fine because basically we know some basic algorithmic concepts. Um, all problems related to whatever we are looking at are algorithmic problem and sibling problem. Okay, sibling algorithm problems. And many things we are taking from actually standard books. So uh, your algorithm book, uh, Corman book, or whether I have this uh, Klinberger Tardis book, let me get this book. So, so the person who are teaching means uh, uh, currently uh, six thirty seven. So are you able to see my screen on, on uh, this? Uh, OK, somehow it is not visible, maybe. Uh, so this is a uh, load balancing. Uh, uh, sir, it's mirror image, I think. No, no, no. Or, or it is reverse. OK, it is uh, showing mirror image. So let me uh, turn up. Okay, because of mirror image, it will, you are not able to see. Uh, no, sir, it is uh, OK. It's okay, but it is from actually algorithm book. Okay, so uh, Eva Tardos book. And if you go and see, it, means it is fine. So today, whatever we'll cover is from Eva Tardos book and uh, standard Corman book. Okay, why we are looking at for this thing is actually, means we want to know what are the theory behind this uh, uh, settling concepts. Then only you can go to uh, cloud and IoT and edge computing, particularly resource management. So whatever we read in the OS book that may not be sufficient. We require a little bit more in depth. Or I can say knowledge of settling or resource management. To deal with cloud and IoT or edge computing and pop computing. OK, so in that way, that's why we are going there. OK, let's come back to uh, our. Hmm, a uh, multipass are settling. So, uh, are you able to see my screen? So, it's fine. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. So, uh, outline of today class or maybe today and tomorrow. So, uh, what I have listed is many uh, problems related to multiprocessor. Okay. So, PM, precedence constant, PJ is equal to 1 CMAX. This thing last class also we have discussed. And today also we'll discuss. Then, uh, PM. This is arbitrary execution time, no precedence constant, all are independent job. And what you are optimizing? Again, we are minimizing the CMX and ILP solutions, two approximations, 
then 2 minus 1 by m approximations, then LPT, uh, longest processing time, then we will look at 3 by 2 approximations and 4 by 3 approximations. For this problem, we have these solutions approaches. And for uh, what is this problem? PM, PJ is equal to 1, summation of WJ, UJ. So this is every taxes I have actually deadline. All tax arrived at time zero. Every taxes have some deadline. So and we want to minimize the summation of WJ, UJ. And for this, we have optimal solutions. And what is the optimal solution that we will see? Then uh, another problem, suppose all taxes are arbitrary execution time. So that problem is NP complete problem. OK, and we will see the heuristic and counter example. So one heuristic looks very good, but uh, it is not actually a uh, solution for that. And you will find the counter example for that. And another thing is, uh, suppose the same problem, suppose if you allow preemption, PMTN, then whether it is uh, solvable or not, but this also it is a very difficult problem. Then we'll see, suppose uh, this is QM, uh, PTMN and uh, summation of CJ. What is summation of CJ? Summation of all completion time. Okay, whenever we say summation of CJ, it says summation of completion time. And it also says uh, average voting time also. Suppose you divide summation of CJ by N, then it will give average voting time also. Okay. So for QM, PTMN, uh, summation of uh, CJ. So here QM, what I'm saying is QM means is a uh, uniform processor, not identical. Okay. So we have uh, optimal solutions also. So we'll see means uh, this kind of problem and solutions and this kind of uh, what I can say problems we will encounter whenever you are uh, sitting on cloud or IoT or edge devices or on means, uh, uh, for computing. So we'll see this kind of uh, problem. So we may need to rediscover or rethink in this point of view. Okay, so this thing already we have discussed the PM prec. Uh, uh, PJ is equal to 1 CMAX. This problem is NP complete problem and this is already proved. So proof is out of syllabus. So that's right. And what is HCF algorithm? Highest level fast or critical path algorithm. That thing well already we have discussed. This is a uh, low level taxes. All have uh, this is second level. This is third level. And so we can use this leveling algorithm. Okay, so level 3, level 2 and level 1 and we can schedule them. So this is a uh, basically SCF or CP algorithm and this algorithm is uh, uh, proved to be optimal for in tree or out tree or in forest or out forest. Okay, so this well, that means if PJ is equal to one and tree format, okay, in tree format or out tree format. So if it is in tree format, then this SCF algorithm or critical path algorithm is optimal. So uh, we don't need to worry about this. Okay, and it is time complexity also very low. So order of B plus E. But in case of uh, what I can say, suppose it is a not tree. Okay, not tree in tree or out tree or not in forest or out forest, then if M is equal to 2, then we are getting a very good approximation 4 by 3. And M is equal to greater than 3, then 2 minus 1 by M minus 1. This is standard. Many places we get similar kind of thing. Okay. This is uh, this thing also we have uh, studied in the last class. So this example, uh, what is this problem? So this is M processor, M identical processor, and all taxes are precedence constant, DAG format, and execution time of all taxes is one. So whatever earlier cases in this case we say, but in this case if it is tree then only optimal. If it is uh, not tree, general precedence DAG then what will happen? So so one thing we have seen. So this uh, I am doing some animations. Okay, are you able to see the animations? Yes, sir. Uh, this is a uh, work. So this is a uh, span. Okay. So whatever the nine taxes, whatever you are seeing. So these are on critical path. Okay. This is span also called critical path. Okay. So, so this nine taxes, this will take nine unit of time because all are unit execution time. And whatever the number of processor you use. Okay. Even more than nine or more than hundred or whatever the number of processor, infinite number of processor also use. You cannot do less than nine unit of time. Anyhow, it will take. That is called critical path. Okay, 
critical path length or computational depth we say or we can say span so many places they use span many places they use critical path length or computational depth okay this is the critical path and what is the total number of work total number of work is 18 so and t infinite we say span or critical path is 9 and suppose you want to run this on three processor three processor suppose p is equal to 3 then can i say once a uh, tp is uh, greater than or equal to t1 by p suppose you have uh, 18 taxes and p is equal to 3 then tax I means execution time on three processor t3 okay execution time on three processor is always greater than 6 you cannot do uh, uh, less than 6 can i say because you have 18 taxes and three processor T1 is 18 and P is number of processor is 3. So we cannot finish before 6 time. At least it will take 6 unit of time. Okay. At least it will take 6 unit of time. So that is T1 by P. So TP, okay. So time on uh, P processor will definitely it will be greater than T1 by P. Another thing is TP is greater than T infinite. So, in this case, uh, T infinite is 9. So, definitely it will be uh, greater than or equal to 9. Is this fine? Sir, what about the nodes it's... which are not colored? They are not in critical path. This brown color one are on critical path. So, whatever the number of processor you have. They should be scheduled, right? Ah, they should okay. be scheduled. The only thing is, they are the dependent access. One after another, you can schedule. Once you finish one tax, suppose this tax you finish. Suppose this tax you are. Suppose you execute this tax, it will take one unit of time. This will take another unit of time. This will take another unit of time because we need to execute one after another because these are dependent one. These are dependent one. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine unit of time it will definitely take because we need to execute one after another because their dependency is like that. Is this clear? Yes, yes sir. Okay. And can I say so in general? So uh, any greedy schedulers, greedy scheduler means whenever processor is free and there is a ready to access. Okay, greedy scheduler, what it is? Uh, whenever processor is free and a ready tax is available. So ready taxes means all its predecessor has already executed ready taxes. Okay. So greedy schedule, we can say that uh, TP is less than equal to uh, T1 by P and T infinite. So what I am trying to say is total number of complete step and incomplete step. And what is complete and incomplete? Let me explain you. So in this case, are you able to see the diagram? So suppose you have already finished the brown part. Brown part already you have finished. And this many uh, so this many things are still, yeah, these are ready taxes. One, two, three, four, and five. So there are five ready taxes and number of processor is three. We have five ready taxes and number of processor is three. And this is called complete step. Since each complete step perform P work. So at a time because number of processor is three. So in this case we have five ready taxes, and we can complete in this step three taxes because number of processor is three. What is the definition of this complete step means? So if number of ready taxes is greater than number of processor, greater than or equal to number of processor, that is called complete step. And what is incomplete step? Incomplete step is so number of ready taxes are less than number of processor. Number of ready taxes are less than number of processor. And in that case, what will happen? So at a time, because number of ready taxes less than processor. Suppose in this case, suppose this you are taking the first case. Suppose you are executing first one. So how many ready taxes? Suppose you are executing only the first guy. Then ready taxes will be one. Suppose in next page also ready taxes will be one. In next case, 
Reading access will be two. So this is uh, in first page. You can do one, two. Then this is three, three. So this three can be done in three, three. Then next reading access is. And four. So these are the fourth ball. Fourth guys. Okay. Are you able to see this thing? Yes. So these are the ready taxes. So then it is five, five. Then this is again it will be five, and this is five, and this is five. So level of GPT two. Then uh, this is the ready taxes. But once you uh, process more number of processor, so more number of processor, then uh, you cannot do. So in this case, you have only one ready taxes. So you can do only one. Sorry, I got disconnected. So now I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So some of there is some network issue. I got disconnected. So uh, uh, this is number of incomplete step. Okay, this, this is sum of actually complete step and incomplete step. Complete step means uh, you have enough number of processor, enough number of ready taxes, and uh, less number of processor so that you can execute. Uh, suppose in this case p is equal to three, so you can execute all three taxes. Okay, so you have more number of ready taxes. That is complete step. Another thing is uh, you have incomplete step. So since uh, means uh, suppose uh, you have uh, not enough number of ready taxes, but you have more number of processor. Okay, and in that scenario, what we can say is TP is less than or equal to number of complete step plus number of incomplete step. So uh, whenever you say TP will be summation of both complete step plus incomplete step. Okay, and what complete step in each complete steps? So perform P work, okay. So T1 by P whatever is thing, and in complete step, it will reduce the uh, span or critical path by one, okay. Span of the unexecuted deck by one, so critical path by one, okay. So that we are saying, 
and we can say the greedy scheduler achieve within a two vector optimal so how we can say because what we are saying is uh, if you look at tp is less than t1 by p plus t infinite and we will represent this uh, t1 by p plus t infinite so in the first slides in this slide what do we have seen are you able to see these things so tp is greater than t1 by p and tp is greater than t infinite so take any things even for optimal case also this will definitely meet even for any scheduler you take so this is the lower bound that means optimal scheduler also it will follow the same thing so tp is greater than t1 by p okay so tp will be greater than t1 by p and tp is greater than t infinite okay and another thing is tp so if you look at so let tp the execution time produced by the optimal scheduler then can i say since since tp is uh, greater than max of t1 by p by t infinite okay so this is maximum of both the things in earlier case example t1 by p it was 6 and t infinite was 9 so tp star will be greater than or equal to 9 so it cannot be lower than that it is clear so in earlier examples t1 by p was uh, t1 by p was 6 and this was 9 critical path was 9 and this one this so optimal scheduling length so that cannot be less than 9 it should be greater than or equal to 9 okay so in this we have already seen this thing this is uh, tp is less than or equal to t1 by p plus t infinite so in this case what we are doing so in both the cases for these cases also we are putting the value in both the cases t1 by p and t infinite for both the cases we are trying to put this value we are trying to put this value for t1 by p case also and t infinite case also we are putting max of t1 by p by t infinite okay and because uh, for this case also we are trying to put for this case and for this case also we are putting and we are saying tp is less than equal to 2 dot max t1 by p plus t infinite and in this case again max of t1 by p and t infinite this thing already tp is always greater than max t1 by p by and t infinite so directly you can say this tp so tp means uh, time on p processor is less than time on t processor optimal result so tp is less than 2 tp star this is two optimal one okay so so why are you multiplying with two why you are multiplying by two this is actually if you look at this is you are taking separately so this t1 by p we are replacing with this term also this one also we are replacing with the same term sir uh, but if uh, like uh, one of p1 by p yeah, or so, t infinite is greater then uh, this whole term will become greater than this current term so we can't yeah. say it is greater than equal to so, let me give you some example so uh, t1 by p what is the case earlier case it was 6 and it was 9 18 by 18 by 3 so it Sir, you are not audible.
So again, I got disturbance. So some network issues. So someone is asking. So now I stopped recording and uh, no video. So only PPT presentations. So so I take this example. So T1 by P is six and T infinity is nine. So because T1 by P can be replaced because if you are putting less than symbol, less than equal to symbol. So T1 by P can be replaced. Means uh, replaced by T1 by P max of T1 by P by T infinity. So it will be uh, two in uh, two. In, this first one is T1 by P can be replaced by. Anyhow, this is uh, less than nine, and this is also less than nine. Is this clear? T1 yeah. by. P. Uh, yes, sir. But, but uh, uh, yes, sir. But I am saying that when we replace T one by P or T infinity with the maximum value, yeah. then the whole term, that is the summation, will become greater than it is currently. That's why we can't say it will remain uh, like less than equal to like P P will be less than equal to two into max of. These two terms, because but, but still, still we can say, still you can say TP is uh, less than that thing, na? Yeah, yeah, we can say less than, but can't uh -huh. say less than equal to that. Uh -huh. TP is uh, still you can say less than equal. So in this can case, say less than equal to. How can we say less than equal to? Uh, I am not understanding how we are saying less than equal. To. We can say less than, but how can uh -huh. it be equal? No, no. This is also this is this T1 by P. We are representing by max of T1 by P and T infinity. So look at this and T infinity also we are trying to do the same thing. Okay. So max of this thing and max may be have equality also. Suppose both the cases it is nine nine. Then what will happen? So uh, is it possible that both the cases it becomes nine nine? All right. And, Will be possible. Suppose oh. if you nine and nine, and also nine. Okay, sir. One T one by P is equal to nine. Suppose uh, you have critical path also means there are total. Uh, sorry, so there are a lot of disturbance. I am getting some network connections. So if next time it happens, then we will stop the class. Okay. So, <laughs> so let me share the screen. So whether this can be possibility or not? Yes, T1 by P is equal to 9 and T infinite 9. So that's possible. Suppose uh, in earlier case, uh, what do we say? So 18 by 3. So this 18, suppose uh, 27 by 3. So 27 taxes and critical by 3. And critical path is also suppose uh, you make it uh, 9. So instead of 18 taxes, you make it uh, 27 taxes. So T1 by P can be 9. Okay. Is this fine? 
yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, you are not audible. So, there is an uh, issue with some network connections. So, today, so I cannot take class without a uh, proper network. Hello? So, there is issue with. I am not able to. Connect to MS team properly, so I cannot take class. So today class is suspended. So we'll have a makeup class maybe uh, after the mid semester. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Because I'm facing a lot of issues with internet connections. Yes, sir. You can stop the recording. Yeah, I'm uh, stopping the. Recording. Tomorrow will meet. Okay, so. Now class is suspended. Now you can log out. Internet connectivity is very bad. <laughs> 